the LA Bowl. Brand new bowl, Mountain West number one against the Back 12 number five out in SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, has a new title sponsor. I'm so excited for this. Jimmy Kimmel. That's it will be right. Jimmy Kimmel's LA Bowl starting this year. That's right. And I am I am shocked. Now it's an A B like the game is shown on ABC. Yeah. And the Jimmy Kimmel show, of course, is on ABC. Uh it is That's right. Like ESPN owns ABC, so it's it's well. AB, I mean, all the bowl games are on yeah. ESPN. Yeah, yeah, but this is a this is a uh, uh, an ESPN owned bowl. You know, they they own like twenty something, twenty five of the forty two yeah. bowls or whatever it is. Um, so it's an ESPN bowl, and Disney owns all of this. So my my first That's thought right. is, so is ABC paying ESPN for the rights for the naming? Or like, I, is this just think, Disney money I, being shuffled? No, I, I, I think I think Jimmy's paying for this. And, I and think so Jimmy's, Jimmy's got like a, he's got his own production company and stuff, right? Yes. So like, I, I think yes. this would no, be he's coming. got big money. I think this is him. I really do. And let me tell you what I love most about this bowl. Let me tell you my favorite thing about this bowl. This will be the one bowl where nobody will try to shove sanctimony of college football down your throat. <laughs> Jimmy will make it entertaining. He will make it funny, but it will be what it is, which is a sci show. It is a football game yes. that they're going to try to make as entertaining as you could possibly be and be damned if anybody tries to bring the sanctimony of the sport out there on Jimmy Kimmel's football game. Kimmel said he won't have it. He said, this is not a joke. This is a real bowl game named after me. So mark your calendars. It's like an early Christmas gift for all of us. Uh, he said, never before has a bowl game been named after a human being. As far as I know, I didn't check. Uh, he said, on December 18th, my dream of being forever enshrined alongside orange, rose, cotton, and peach comes true. Like, <laughs> it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I think Kimball's best work was probably on the man show back forever ago. That, so that's where, I mean, that's where I like found him. That's yeah. where I knew him from as a, as a younger, younger gentleman. And yeah, yeah. This is, uh, th does this not kind of, it's exactly what you were talking about. We're not going to be talking about the sanctimony of bowl season or, or yeah. of college football or anything like that with this, because this is 100%, like he said, this is not a joke, but in the broader sense of the term, it kind of is. Like this yeah, is kind of ridiculous. It's not, a, it's not a joke to him because he's going to, he, he's going to put on a show. Yeah. I, I bet, I bet. From a performance standpoint, it's going to be one of the best bowls put on. Well, I mean, this so this is replacing basically the Las Vegas Bowl and the, the Las or what was the Las Vegas Bowl, right? There's still a Las Vegas Bowl, but it's got different teams in it now. All that the Las Vegas Bowl is one of the first ones of the bowl season. It's on that first Saturday. Yeah. It's right in the middle of the day, and it's always a good time. Uh, we've seen Boise State against Oregon. We've seen San Diego State against. Uh, Got it, Washington or something like that. I mean, we've we've seen some pretty fun matchups in this bowl game. I do think it's going to be a lot of fun, um, but I thought it was going to be fun before it was the Jimmy Kimmel Bowl, and now. Uh, but the difference is, is you had some bowl director trying to to push down everyone's throat that that this bowl is important yeah. and it it matters in the ethos of history in college football, and and you're not you're just not going to get that. No, not not with Jimmy Kimmel. Not no, and I'm slides. glad of that. I'm 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 very I'm I'm, I'm excited for that. I tend I to want, agree. I want nothing but comedians to to take over bowls, all the, of them. The take over all of them. Joe Rogan, get a bowl, Where? and then and it'll be just nothing but dick jokes from from the start of it to the end of it. That's it. That's all I want. <laughs> I want people to see these people for what they are. Okay, what a, I'm a, okay with you having a bowl. You put on a show that I like to watch, and I'm gonna watch it. But I don't like you thinking that you're making a better place for humanity when all you're trying to do is make your pockets as fat as humanly possible. Let's just let's just call it what it is. It's just marketing, and that's fine. I'm not against that. What I'm against is this fake "I give a shit" mentality. Hey, let's let's play a game right quick. Where, okay. where, like, which bowl would be best for Joe Rogan to uh, to sponsor? Like, it, maybe what Joe Rogan's the heart of bowl. the heart of Texas Bowl, or just yeah, the Texas I think, Bowl? I think I think if he took over the Texas, like, he's now in Austin. Let him take over yeah. the Texas Bowl. All right. What about uh, what about like the Burt Kreischer Bowl? Where, the Burt Kreischer Bowl would have to be like a New Orleans Bowl. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think you're probably right. Like, it's got to be a crazy, stupid party city. Oh, what about, like, Boca Raton? Boca Raton wouldn't be bad for him, but I think Boca Raton's a little too classy for Burt. You might be right about that. Like, like if you saw a dude like Bert walk into a restaurant with his shirt off in Boca Raton, you'd be like, mm, that's a little iffy. Like, you go outside with that shit. But if a dude like Bert walks into a bar in New Orleans with his shirt off, he's just like, he's just going to be one of like nine dudes without a shirt on. <laughs> All right. What about, uh, what about the Ron White Bowl? Oh God! I mean, he's from Texas too, so he'd have to. Yeah, like, but but we're gonna we're gonna push him to like a Kentucky Bowl that's gonna be sponsored by bourbon. Ah, uh, that that makes sense. Like he's gonna sense. do something with alcohol. Oh no, he's a tequila man. I can't do that to Ron. I don't. I don't hey, know the a Arizona Bowl, bowl. That's sponsored by tequila. I guess. No, just toss him know, in the no, Arizona. Arizona's bowl. Arizona's known for tequila, but sure. Uh, uh, New Mexico Bowl the desert. There you go. Yeah, there we go. We'll give Ron that. The Ron White New he's Mexico. He's got his bowl. own plane. He can fly from from uh or the from Ron Texas to <laughs> the Ron White Sun Bowl. Yeah. That's the closest one to Mexico. Yeah, be perfect. There you go. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we might have to give that one to like, uh, uh, what's uh, what's the guy's name? Fluffy or whatever. <laughs> we might have to give that to him. Um, Which one? Let's see. The uh, the Sun Bowl, like down in El Paso. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. What's it, what's his name? Gabriel uh, Iglesias? Iglesias. Yeah, that is Fluffy. That's, that's Fluffy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. What? All right. So Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle gets the, the Motor City Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's from Akron. I don't think that Akron has a bowl. No. But that's got to be the closest place that has a bowl, right? Yeah, I think so. I think All so. Right. He's a he's a he's a well. I mean, but you know what? He he like grew up in D.C. But I don't think D.C. has a bowl. Does, does D.C. have a bowl? No, no, they don't. They um, should. Yeah, they probably should. But I think I think the Motor City. You're talking bowl about a bunch of sanctimonious blowhards that think they're more important than they really are. <laughs> Jesus, like you can't oh hit a golf God. ball and knock out a. Rich yuppie there, <laughs> overpaid and worthless as hell. I mean that that would be uh, what the Orange Bowl and uh, the Fiesta Bowl and whatever, right? So yeah, you know, yeah, the Rose um, Bowl, the Rose Bowl, the Rose Bowl. Dave, no, not Dave Chappelle's Rose Bowl. Who, uh, oh. God, who, who, who would be a yuppie that? Uh, what's a, what's that new comedian that's out that uh, that just divorced his wife and. Was dating uh, like Olivia Wilde right, or now, something? Now you're into the world, which I don't. I don't follow. That, that, I don't those know. are those are not my comedians. I don't know. <laughs> like if like if the Rose Bowl was gonna have a different sponsor that was a person, I would think like it needs to be. This is gonna be a little weird because Snoop is a USC guy. His son went to UCLA, so I think I can make it that Snoop should be like the ambassador of the Rose Bowl. And, and 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 we're just going to get rid of the word rose, and and it's just going to be the bowl, and and we're all the just snoop bowl, smoke pot, <laughs> the snoop bowl. I'm in, I'm in with that. Everybody gets a bowl <laughs> with your bowl ticket. There you go. That's a good selling point. Everybody gets a bowl with your bowl ticket. Um, right. Let's let's close out the show. Let's That's talk. That's how about the scalpers it. used to do it, right? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. sell you this golf ball for two thousand dollars. I'm going to give you this ticket for face value at thirty five dollars. One hundred percent. Here you go. One hundred percent. Here you go. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.